Hello everyone, it's Mr. John from AK Dragfish 3D and today we're going to talk about lines and knots. Three different types of lines, you got mono, you got fluoro, and you got braid. So we're going to break it down and see what the lines are all about and lead into knots. Show the kids three simple knots. So let's get to it. So first we're going to start with monofilament. A monofilament is a single strand line of nylon and or nylon like material. It's kind of your jack of all trades. It's found in a lot of starter combos for beginners. And they come in all different shapes and sizes and colors to meet water needs. Some companies dye their monofilament red. Some people dye their monofilament blues and greens. And next we've got fluorocarbon. And here's a spool of P-line fluorocarbon. The benefits of fluorocarbon over monofilament is that fluorocarbon is made with a different material. And it's made with hydrocarbons, thus the name. And so it stretches like I can I can really stretch that out. Fluorocarbon is virtually invisible in the water. Invisible in the water. Okay, so for the third one we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about braid. And braid, just like the name suggests, is like poly material braided into a nice strong line. Now braid, like mono, comes in different colors. This is forest green color. The benefit of the braid is the fact that it has two different ratings. It has a pound test rating. This is 20 pound test rating. I'll get into rating here in a second. However, it's the diameter is rated to six pounds. So if you look here, they're roughly the same diameter, give or take plus or minus. At least they feel the same to my hand. All right, so final bit of discussion about lines is poundage. Now, when you look at line, you'll see this beautiful thing right here called pound. So what that means is this monofilament can take six pounds of, of pressure, dry pressure, i.e. the line being dry, before it snaps. And then we come to, to floral, right? So eight pounds, potentially pull eight pounds of, you know, something out of the water, whether it be, you know, a, what, what fish is eight pounds? You know, maybe a tuna, a pike, and so on. You've got 20 pounds, on the braid, that braid will take 20 pounds before it snaps. Okay, so that's line. We'll move on to gaining kids insight online before we move on to tying knots. Hey, thanks for watching so far. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit the like button down below and let us know. We really appreciate it here at AK Dragonfish 3D. So on with the video. All right, here we are with my sidekick, Samantha, and we're gonna see her insight on this line. First, we're gonna go with monofilament. Now, Sam, what is your, what is your take on monofilament? What are like, your thoughts? I like how thin it is, and it's very stringy. Okay. okay so now Sam's gonna check out fluorocarbon. Why is it more expensive? Because it's, a, it's, it's not the same, because this is nylon. This is hydrocarbon. Now watch, I'm gonna show you why. Ready? Did you see it stretch? Yeah. Yep, that's why. One's shinier than the other. What, which one's shinier than the other? This one's shiny and this one's just... So what do you think What do you think the lack of shine on the fluorocarbon means? Water. Bingo. Well close. Fluorocarbon's invisible in water to fish. Fish cannot see fluorocarbon. Well, kind of. I can't either, kind of. Yeah. All right, Sam, now here's some... This is braid. I get why it's says braid. Why? It's braided. It's braided? And you can, you can... it's really Yeah. It's really tough. Like, it's really strong. strong and it just won't tear. I could tear this line no problem. Uh-huh. If I want to. But this one I can't. So there's Sam's insight on the three lines. Next we'll move on to knots. All right, so here we are with my sidekicks. We're gonna teach some knots. Okay, so the first knot I'm gonna teach you is the most simplistic knot alive. And it's called the Palomore knot, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a loop. Do it with me. Make a loop. And feed the whole loop through the eye like this, okay? So you should be like this. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it, right, you make sure you get a, a good sized tail. And you're going to take it and you're going to tie it to just a cross knot, like what you do for your shoelaces, okay? But don't pull it tight. So you're just going to loop it like that, okay? 
they should be here. Now you're gonna take this end and loop it through that, like that. So you just loop it through the fish and then you would pull it tight. But that's a power one. You want in on this one, Anna? There's a piece of rope. Grab a fish. Okay, we're gonna go the improved clinch knot. Ready? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna feed it through the eye. And you're gonna make a loop. Okay? You're gonna make a loop. You're gonna make a loop. You're gonna make a loop. You're just gonna twist it. Now the number of times you twist depends on the line you're using. For this, you only need to go like five, four, five times. Alright, let me know when you're twisted four times. And you feed through this, through the eye. Okay. We come back through the loop we just made. And then pull it tight. And you should have something that looks like that. And a guy. Is that my first time? Yes. Because I've done it a million times. Okay, check it out. No, no, no. All right. Pull your tag tight. Okay, now you would grab the main line, grab the knot, and pull the main line. Like that. Okay? Because eventually the tag end, we're just going to clip off. That was Jerry. Let me see, buddy. Good job. For Anna, you want to come do the final knot? Sure. This is what's called a uni knot. I'm going to make a loop. It should be like this. Got my tag in. I'm going to make a loop. This way? Doesn't matter which way. So long as you have main line and, and, and tag end going opposite direction. You're going to take tag end, now you're going to make loops through the loop this way. And again, you're going to adjust the number of loops based on the thickness of your line. So just do four for the sake of argument. When, once you've got four loops let me, done, let me know. You should, you should look done. something like this. Now grab both ends and pull. Both ends. And you just cinch it up. See? Good job. Good job. All right, Sam. Thoughts on knots? I like them. What's your favorite knot between the three? One, two, three. One. The Palomar knot. The one you make the loop that loops around. Three. So the uni knot is your favorite. What about you? You like the Palomar knot? Okay, so that was lines and knots. Next will be hooks and hook safety. Uh, stick around for the next episode, and thanks for watching.